What is going on guys? Thank you for watching another Is That Chad Honda Reviews video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the 2018 Honda Accord Touring uh, in the 1.5 liter. It's going to be an obsidian blue pearl. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is just giving you guys a brief explanation of everything that's in this vehicle and what you can expect if you're purchasing this vehicle. Now, if you guys want to see a test drive in this car or see this vehicle compared against this 2 liter uh, Touring over here on my left, make sure you guys give this video a like, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and look through my videos and you will see all of those videos. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this. So as I said at the beginning of the video, this is a 1.5 liter Accord Touring. Now the Touring does come in two levels this year. It comes in a 1.5 and it comes in a 2 liter. Um, they both are pretty similar. There are going to be a few differences, um, but let's look at this 1.5. So the first thing you notice is you're going to get the very nice LED headlights, the LED daytime running light, and the LED fog lights as well. Now the high beam on these is going to be uh, is going to be LED as well. Um, nice black grill. You can see here you do get the color matched parking symbol, or sorry, parking uh, sensors as well. Um, go ahead and walk around the side of this. You notice you get your sunroof. You're going to get turn indicators in your mirrors here. Let me turn those on so you can see them. There we go. Turn signals in the mirrors. Go ahead and walk around here. And let me show you the sticker here. You can see one, 2018 Accord 1.5 Touring in Obsidian Blue Pearl with our gray interior. It's going to get 192 horsepower and have our CVT continuously variable transmission in it. And you can expect about 34.6 as a price tag made entirely in the United States. So let's go ahead and continue walking around this. Around the back of it, you'll notice these dual chrome exhaust outlets here on the, back, on the lower section of the vehicle. You'll also notice you get the touring badging on this car as well. Right there. Now guys, let me know what you guys think about the back of the car. Um, the back of the car is the one area where I have the people that don't seem to like it. Uh, people seem to be in love with the front of it. Um, it's the back end that gives people the most problems. I can tell you, um, it grows on you. It, when I first saw it, I wasn't sure what I thought of it either. Um, but after being around the car for some amount of time now, um, I find that I actually do like it. It looks pretty good. Um, so that is the exterior of the car. Let's go ahead and hop inside of it, show you couple of the features of it okay here's what it'll look like as you're getting in you know, there's a nice wood trimming here um, all of your door controls now you're gonna get power seating it's gonna be a four-way oh, sorry 14 way power adjustable seat with four-way lumbar support with of course memory seat positioning um, so I'm going to give you guys just a quick pan around here. It's super nice, guys. It looks really nice. The steering wheel, uh, at first glance, looks like it has a lot of buttons on it, and it does. Um, but they're laid out extremely well, and they're very, very easy to use. Once you kind of get a hold of them, you won't even have to be looking down to know what you're hitting. Um, and I'll kind of go through briefly what some of this is in just a minute. You can see you get your nice touchscreen radio here, which does offer uh, AT&T hotspot as well. Um, you can see here this NFC manager, and you see here, now a pretty cool thing about this is if you have an Android phone, you have NFC, uh, which is near field communication. So you turn that on, put, uh, put the back of your phone up against this, and it's going to automatically connect your phone to Bluetooth. Uh, so extremely easy there. Um, like I said, it has touchscreen. Nice thing is you do still have all of your hard buttons here on the sides as well. Uh, navigation, of course, is standard on this touring model. You have your volume knob back. Thank you, Honda, for that. It was uh, a lot of people were very upset when we didn't have that. 
course, you have our tun tuning knob there as well. Scroll down here, you're going to have a nice dual automatic climate control with heated seats and ventilated seats. It's a little small thing Honda did here is if you look back here, as I'm turning the temperatures, I go hotter, the light back here goes red, and as I go colder, the light goes blue. Small touch, but it's really cool. You also have a wireless phone charger down here as well. Now, if you have the iPhone X, it's standard and Android phones.